Leo, your weekly love tarot reading begins with the Two of Cups, a Three of Pentacles, Justice, and a Knight of Swords. Your person in this relationship is coming in with the Eight of Swords, Five of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and the Hero Fan. At the bottom of this deck, we have the Queen of Wands. So you're going through a period of learning for sure. Um, the queen always shows up when there's a big lesson to learn, um, when you're having to sort of like dig into your wisdom, you know, you've been around this block before Leo, right? So let's begin to take a look at your reading. So how do you both come into this reading? Uh, the energy you're bringing is the two of cups and they're bringing a eight of swords. So for you, you're kind of like ready to do this, you know, you're ready to make this agreement. There's love here. You're ready to move forward, right, with this connection. But your person is resonating with some really toxic energy here. Eight of Swords is a feeling of being helpless, right? Um, a feeling of, like, you know, being victimized or being helpless, not being able to make any decisions or, you know. Um, but ultimately, you know, Eight of Swords can be quite toxic because it begins with a feeling of the world attacking you. And then rather than sort of... I'm going to say trying to look at situations from a different perspective, you begin to take on a bit of a victim mentality. Your person is coming in with this. So it's kind of weird. You're coming in with this happy kind of uh, outlook and they are feeling full of angst and worry and they feel like they're being forced perhaps into something. Let's get some clarity. It's like they're being, you know what I mean? It's like their hands are tied and they feel like they're being set upon. Of course, as I say, oftentimes what happens with this energy is of your own doing. But let's get some clarity here and see why there's such a, a, a different schism. Ace of Cups. This is a new love for you. And Six of Pentacles. There's some money energy here. Okay, so Leo, you're in love, clearly, <laughs> with this person right? But they are finding it difficult to, um, to make the right decisions with you. And a lot of it has to do with money, right? It could be that they have more money than you, Leo, and they're finding this to be a bit of a difficulty or an impasse, right? Um, they may be feeling a bit, listen, I'm getting a vibe of them, like feeling like, look, I don't want to have to take care of you, <laughs> you know, because as we look ahead, how do you see each other? Well, with you, with them, they see you and they see a lot of uh, competition. It's very competitive. There's a lot of fighting. Um, when you see them, you see increase and gain. So I, you listen, there's a vibe here, Leo, and I hate to say this, that, you know, you're in love with this person, but this person feels as though they're getting a vibe from you as if you're uh, being a bit of an opportunist or that you're coming after them in a way that makes them uncomfortable. This person seems to clearly have a lot of money. They have a lot of status. They're bringing a ton of pentacles to the relationship. So they have a lot of status. They have wealth. They have comfort. And I think they uh, they very much feel as though you know, you're not being for not being for real either about the love or that you have an ulterior motive. Mm -hmm. Now, do you <laughs> do you have an ulterior motive? Um, I don't know why this is coming off like this, because you do resonate with strong love energy. However, you also do resonate with a feeling here the way you see them. I think one of the reasons why you're in love with them is because they do so well and because they're looking so good right now. They got money. They're doing well. And so. Yes, to you, you're like, I'm in love, but, you know, are you in love because of because of all of the flash, right? Are you like, yeah, I want this. Deep down, it's because of all the flash. If they didn't have all of that, would you still be this much in love? Or would, you, would it still be this energy for you? Would you still be wanting to build something with them? And I think um, I think that's what that's, that's hard here. Your person does not believe you're genuine, Leo. Queen of Pentacles. And King of Cups. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody who is very direct in relationships and they require a lot of honesty. 
the King of Cups is very sure of what kind of partner he wants, right? And I say he only because he's a king, but it doesn't matter, male, female. My readings are gender neutral, sexuality, none of that matters. Um, but he, you know, he knows what he wants. He, you know, he knows, um, he has a lot of love to give to the right situation, but he won't give it, right? He's not going to give love to something that is not worth pouring love into. So he's very particular. He's very, um, the King of Cups requires a lot. You are resonating with Queen of Pentacles. You are absolutely willing to put your blood, sweat, and tears in. And I think that this is a case of you having to win this person over, Leo. You know, if you feel love in your heart, if you're resonating with this reading, also please hit that like button if you're resonating with this. But if you really feel love for this person, if you resonate with this reading, you know who I'm talking about. Um, you know, you're going to, they they require a lot more from you than just professions of love. And in fact, it is going to take this. It's going to take you really putting effort in effort to come and see them effort to make time for them effort to spend time with them. Like real physical effort is what it's going to require because they don't believe that you're after them for anything else apart from the fact that, you know, this person, as I say, they may be very good looking. They may be very healthy, very fit. They may have money. They, you know, they feel like their physical well-being, their physical world, everything about their physical world is really nice. You know, it's luxurious. They resonate, they resonate at a high level. They're very successful. They probably have a very successful job or they have some kind of successful creative business that they're involved in. All of this, you know, is there and they don't really trust that you are actually into it for the love. Because even though they have all of that, they resonate with a strong king here in the sense that they require someone who's committed, who's willing to really put work in. Now, you present with energy that you are willing to do that. How do you guys see your roles in the relationship for you? Justice for them, Ten of Pentacles. Again, it comes back to the money. They see that their role in this relationship is one of providing comfort and providing cash and providing, you know, stability. They bring that to the table. Okay. And they bring that to a relationship, right? So they see themselves firmly in this role. Uh, now for you, you see yourself, you're coming in with justice energy. Some of you Leos may be dealing with Libra energy. You may have Libra in your chart. Um, more so than you're dealing with the Libra. This is more so that you probably have some Libra in your chart, Leo, uh, in your Zodiac or your natal, your natal Zodiac chart, but you're coming in with a feeling of bringing fairness and balance, right? Um, you see yourself as sort of being very, very honest with this person and bringing balance to their world. They're clearly a little bit out of balance. I think this person is a little bit jaded, maybe from relationships before, because again, the way that they're picking up your energy is not the way you're presenting. Like you present with sincere love energy here and a sincere, a sincere desire uh, to put work and effort in. And yet this person is really kind of like, you know, about it. So yeah, it, it feels like you know that you, you may need to uh, bring balance to this relationship and this person as well to sort of say, Hey, you know what? We can have a, you know, we can have an even exchange here. Yeah. I am willing to put the, the effort in. Um, let's get some clarity. Two of swords. There's a decision here. Yeah. Um, and strength with the hero fan. Yeah. For you, Leo, also justice requires for some of you, justice can indicate official things. Like you may need to do some official things. You may need to get that divorce you've been meaning to get, or you may need to, you know, there may be something that you have to physically do to bring, uh, to bring about a situation where you guys can move forward. Right. Um, listen, for some of you it might even be a prenup because the person you're dealing with has that much money. It might be. And if it is, you know, and here it comes a decision. So you have a decision to make. 
They come in with strength. You come in with two of swords, more Libra energy. I definitely think some of you Libras, uh, some of you Leos have Libra in your chart, but you're coming in with a, with a decision, Leo, about this individual, you know, or uh, you, you want to, you love, you feel like this is a strong new love, a new opportunity for love. You want to put the work in, but there's some things you have to do. And are you willing to do them? I think you're also dealing with somebody who likes a very traditional relationship, Leo. Uh, uh, they, they look, you know, they, they resonate here with strength and hero fan. They're very adamant and they're very sort of, um, they're very decisive. They're very adamant. They're very clear about this. They're not going to let their emotions run away with them. They're going to make very clear decisions here. You're dealing with somebody who likes something very, uh, I want to say, as I said, traditional, you know, like they're into getting married. They're into living together. They're into, you know what I mean? They're into having things done a certain way, relationships going a certain way. They represent here. They're coming in with here and you come in with Knight of Swords. So, you know, action for them. Yeah, they're, they are like, they're going back to sort of their base, their, their, their stability, their foundation, what they believe in. And they want something that... Uh, is in line with that, right? Again, this may be a decision for you. Knight of Swords energy. Um, you are, it does feel like you're prepared to put the effort in to cut away any obstacles. So there may be some obstacle. Again, there's some obstacle here preventing you two perhaps from getting getting that connection the way you want it, Leo. And And then again, a choice. Do you really want it? I think you know, you have fallen in love with, fallen in love here with someone who has a lot. They have a lot, a lot physically. Uh, they have a lot to lose physically. Also, they're they're and they're very specific about what kind of relationship they're willing to have, want to have, and what kind of structure it needs to fit into. And ultimately, it's going to be down to you to make the decision if you're down for that. Is that something you want, Leo? Let's pull out your oracles. So this person is, yeah, they're bringing some stuff here, you know, they're bringing some requirements and uh, the deeper you get into a connection with them, the more and more you're having to think about whether or not you're ready to, to, uh, come, you know, step to the plate and accept those, you know, accept those requirements and deliver, you know, are you prepared to do all of that? You know, are you, is this, is that what you want? Are you prepared to get married? Do you know what I mean? This person may want children, etc. Spirit of travel, spirit of possession and spirit of the castle. So travel a journey. Some of you, yeah, this person, you may have to move. Are you prepared to do that? Spirit of possession, sexual obsession is here. Mm -hmm. This may be one of the roots of the love. Again, this, you're dealing with somebody who's very, very attractive physically attractive Leo. So it's very difficult for you to get your sort of sexual mind off of them. Spirit of the castle, fortress, rescue or imprisonment. Take that for what it is. I do believe this person is somewhat living in a bit of a castle of their own making. Uh, again, because you're dealing with someone I feel who's quite jaded in relationships may have been burned before, and they do have a lot of physical things to lose. And so again, as I say, they're being very careful. Your animal spirits, bear, take time out, mm -hmm. and the cow, the miracles are endless. All right, guys, take time out and the miracles are endless. Take that for what it means to you, how it resonates for you. Listen, if you enjoy my readings, thank you so much for sticking around. Please hit that like button, subscribe, comment, share, all, any of those things. They really help my channel. It's a way for you to support my videos and my content and it helps me stay here on YouTube and also helps you uh, connect to these readings. I hope it did resonate for you. Of course, it won't resonate for all of you, but yes, um, you'll see how it goes with this person. I'll be curious to see any follow-up readings over the next few weeks, how this transpires and develops. But for right now, Leo, Leo, Cross Watchers, thank you so much for joining me here at Bow and Arrow Tarot. I wish you all love, life, and happiness, and I hope to see you guys next Friday on my channel for your weekly love tarot. Bye-bye.